get into the video. So we're going to take a sip of this water because, you know, water is important. It is 2018. Okay, so we have to be drinking our water, staying hydrated, keeping our skin clear and our skin looking fresh and radiant and just bomb. So I'm starting off with my brows and I haven't done my eyebrows on camera for a really long time. But I am using the Anastasia Dip Brow in the color Ebony. Guys, everything will be listed down in the description box below. Just in case I forget to mention something or it's wrong, it will be down in the description box below. So I'm just filling in my brows and I actually love this product. I stopped using it, but I like it. So I'm just going to keep, you know, blending in, brushing through and gonna do the other brow that quick and now for concealer i'm using the la girl pro concealer to just clean up these brows and then going in with the tart shape tape and just creating a clear base for my eyeshadow so today my eyeshadow is pretty simple i'm pretty much just using a light pink color as my transition shade and then going in with a darker pink color on my outer corner and taking it a little bit into my crease just blending everything out to give it like a seamless blend and I'm just going in with the smaller brush and packing on more of a deeper pink shade into the outer corner and in the crease just to create some more definition and then just going in with a pretty close to like a cream color and taking it halfway on my crease and I just wanted to add like a little bit of pink shimmer right in between that transition shade and I'm just going in with the morphe gel liner this is any color brownish and I'm just applying that to my lash line and applying some mascara before I add on my falsies and y'all know I love this mascara and these are the Ardell Wispies y'all know I love this lash too so just drinking my juice y'all y'all know I love this <laughs> So next we're going to go on to face and I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer along with the NYX Liquid Illuminator and I like to apply this under my foundation just to give me that glow over top of the foundation just so that my skin can look really radiant and I'm using the Fit Me Matte Poreless in the color 335 and I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics brush and just blend everything in. Y'all know I love this foundation, and guys, I've been wearing this foundation, this combo all day, and my laugh lines, my small lines, they have not creased not one bit, so I think I'm going to keep doing that little duo. I don't know if it's the primer in the foundation, or if it's the liquid illuminator in the foundation, but whatever it is, it's working. So for concealer, I'm going to go in with my NYX Gotcha Cover Concealer. And y'all know I love this concealer as well. And I'm just applying this to all the areas that I want to highlight and all the areas where I want to draw light to. And I'm just going in with my Real Techniques Concealer Brush and blending it out with my brush. Um, I'm surprised because throughout this whole video, I did not use my beauty sponge I actually do love the way that you know my face turned out with just using brushes it looks really airbrushed and smooth and very skin like it's, it just looks bomb so um yep just brushing out the concealer and guys we are in 2018 omg i have so many so many video ideas for you guys and i'm just so excited to start over start fresh a new beginning is always always needed so i'm really excited for my journey in 2018 thank you guys so much for the support already and yeah so for contour i'm taking the fenty beauty matchstick in the color truffle and just going in with um my foundation brush and blending out my contour and the contour actually blended out much easier. I don't know what it was, if it was the brush or the foundation, not sure, but it worked. And I'm just going to set my concealer with my airspun. I haven't used this setting powder in a while, but I actually love the way that it made my face look. It wasn't too matte, but 
it wasn't too oily still like it dried it up some but it wasn't too much so I'm gonna go in with the it's my Ray Ray collab with BH cosmetics and going in with that contour shade and just going over all the areas where I applied my cream contour and I absolutely love this contour shade like it's so bomb and we're gonna do a little bit of nose contour too just because I feel like snatching my nose and yeah y'all this color is so good for contour like it makes no sense so for blush I'm going in with the morphe blush and I took that color right there just applying it to the apples of my cheeks and it's just like a very pinky mauvey shade and going back to the eyes I'm going in with a orange shade under my eyes an orange pinkish shade under my waterline and just applying mascara didn't apply any eyeliner today just because I didn't feel like it I felt like you know this look was pretty good all by itself and I didn't want to do too much so for highlight I'm going in with the ColourPop highlighter in the color candy man and applying this to the highest points of my cheeks my nose forehead cupid's bow and chin and this is more of a natural highlight so I went back in with more highlight over top of all of this with the Laura Geller highlighter in peach glow I went over that just because I wanted a more bright highlight and this highlight has a pinkish undertone to it so I thought it would look really good with the whole pink effect that we have going on and I'm just going in with my morphe pencil and going over my beauty marks that were covered up over everything and guys, ignore my voice. I'm getting sick. I sound horrible, I know. But just ignore it. <laughs> um, so I just went back in with the Morphe gel liner. And I'm just adding some freckles, some faux freckles. Just because I thought that it would be really cute. Because I'm getting like a nice doll baby vibe. So I just got a little bit closer for you guys to see the freckles. And I absolutely love them. So to set my face, I'm taking the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray, setting everything, and going back in with the gel liner from Morphe, just using this as a lip liner because it is brown. And I'm just using the Morphe brush that came with it and just lining my lips with this. And y'all, I am using the Fenty Mademoiselle Lip Stick in the color Single. Oh my goodness, y'all. This lipstick is so creamy. It's not drying at all, although it is matte. It's very creamy, very moisturizing, and I just love it. OMG. She did it again. Like, again. <laughs> but I'm about to get myself together. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in my next video. And once again, Happy New Year. Bye, loves. Mwah.